Alright people, it's Sprat here and today I've got another gameplay for you. This one is a ground war domination on radiation. Domination radiation. And uh no that was terrible. <laughs> it's uh it's a gameplay I got yesterday actually and it's probably one of my favourite. I get a really nice clip at the end, um kinda like two clips in one life or two leftover clips in one life. And I get some really nice shots, as you can see I just got a tasty no scope there. Um but it's a really good gameplay and I hope you guys enjoy it. So, as you can tell by the title, I say that in every video, don't I? As you can tell by the title, I, I, I should stop saying that because you're not dumb, I'm sorry. But, uh, <laughs> the, the main topic of this commentary is going to be, do I keep YouTube a secret? Now, a lot of people ask me this, you know, a lot of people say, do your friends know? Do your family know? Do your uni mates know? And they do. They, they all do. Um, I don't, I don't go shout at the rooftops saying I do gaming videos. Ah, that's that's not even a shout. But um, I don't do that. But if it comes up in conversation, then I will talk about it. It's not, it's not. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not ashamed of it. Um, I enjoy it, and I think what I'm doing is quite, uh, could I say, special, kind of. You know, entertaining thousands and thousands of people, and I'm only 18. That's pretty something special. Um, uh, also, I was gonna gonna mention if you want to stick around because at the end of this commentary, I'm probably gonna give you an update on example three. I forgot to mention that at the start because a lot of people have been asking. So yeah, that's gonna be that. So uh, yeah, so I don't give you a secret. Um, I don't judge people who don't. Um, I get kind of annoyed when people like keep it a secret just because they're scared of people what people will think or what the friends will think. But I've I've kind of not lost friends but I kind of not talk to certain friends because they kind of like backstab me like when I first started out um, to my face they were like oh that's quite cool that but behind my back they were just like wow he's so sad I hate that word as well that's stupid um, so you know I didn't really like those people anymore and kind of just I had like two groups of friends like I had a smaller group with like full of like sound people that are just you know, best mates, and then I had another group, which was a larger group, and they were kind of main ones from school, and that I've kind of gone on to college with, and I kind of didn't, I kind of stopped talking to them as much as I used to, it wasn't because of that, it was just because, I don't know, I liked, I liked the other group more, I guess, but um, some of those in there were kind of like judgmental, um, so it's, I don't know, it's pretty stupid, but I didn't really care what they thought, and I enjoy what I do, and you know, I have friends that think it's quite cool what I do and you know I have uni friends that think it's quite cool and they're quite amazed at how many like subscribers I've got and things so whether you've got you know whatever a uh, hundred subscribers or a hundred thousand subscribers it, you're still doing the same thing so you shouldn't be ashamed of where you're at or whatever if you're enjoying it it doesn't really matter um, it's it's so common these days doing gaming videos Playing games is probably the most growing entertainment industry or whatever it is at the moment. Like gaming is just so fast growing because everybody's doing it and whether you make videos or not, you still probably heard of people who make videos. I'm making this figure up, not gonna lie, but uh, I bet one one or two people in every class at school do, do gaming videos. I'm just putting that out there. Might be wrong because I just made it up, but something like that. Um. So, you know, don't give it a secret. Um, it actually benefited me. I, I I don't know how my interview would have gone without it. Because obviously I won't I wouldn't know that because it never happened. But um the I put it on my C V, I put work you know, work for Machinima, you know, YouTube partner. Uh because it's some it's an achievement and it's not it's nothing to be ashamed of. Like entertaining thousands of people, that's that's something special. I'm I'm only eighteen and it's just like quite good. So I put it on my C V. And the uh, at university, the guy who interviewed me, I was like, "Oh, what's this? What's this gaming thing you do?" And I was like trying to explain to him, and he was like, "Oh yeah," and he was like, "Oh, can I see one of your channel, and your videos?" And he was like amazed at my channel views or something, and uh, we kind of like clicked after that. I think it was kind of like a hidden pleasure of his that he enjoyed gaming and stuff. But he was quite, he was quite old, um, ish. I can't, I don't really know how old he is. But uh, he was just like, "Oh yeah," he's like hardcore one, and I was like, "Yeah," and he was like, "Oh." Oh, I couldn't play that, you know. I'd be, I'd be getting shot. I'd be hiding all the time. It was, it was watching my brainwash thing. I think, can't remember now. 
and uh, it's like, and then he started talking about his own ge uh, like his own game that well not his own game but one of his favorite games that he used to play um, and then I think that's how you got, you know your interview interviews go well because he was like clicking with me and it was getting him talking more and he was more interactive and I think that's good if you if you connect kind of with the guy then obviously your interview is going to get better with just a normal CV I think that I like, like edge up on people but like I said I might have got in without it you never know but it was kind of on high demand for that course because I think it was like over a thousand applied and there's only 25 spots so <laughs> it was quite competitive I guess um yeah so that was that was how it benefited me also I think I think the, pe the thing people are worried about is telling people because they don't know how to say it but uh, my my hairdresser of all people uh, wanted to know what it was because I told her I was quitting my job and she was like oh what are you going to do about money because I like university and stuff and I was like trying to explain to her I said oh I get money from doing gaming videos on YouTube and she said oh well, what's that so uh, pr this is how I put it I said you know you, pl you know you watch football on TV and they have commentaries and they're like yeah and I went well I pretty much do that I said, oh I was like, yeah, and you know when they have football highlights, like highlights at the end of the night from all the games? And she's like, yeah, and I went, it's pretty much that as well. So those two things is what I do. She's like, all right then. So I was like, yeah, so you replace the football game with an actual game play of me playing a game. And then the highlights is the best moments from those games. She was like, all right. That's quite good, that. I was like, yeah, so I'm making quite a bit of money from it. She was like, oh, that's great. So you don't really need the cafe then, because it's when I was about to quit. And I was like, oh no, I'm just doing it kind of like, it's kind of like that social job. She's like, alright then. So she didn't, she didn't, I don't know if she thought it was weird or not, but that's how I explain to people. I think that's probably one of the best ways, because that's, everyone can relate to football, even if you like it or not, you still know about football game and the commentary over top, so yeah. So I don't keep it from people, uh, my uni mates know, my family know, um... My gra I mean, my granddad asks me how it goes all the time. Like, How's YouTube going? I was like, oh, it's good. Uh, and you know, my uni mates know. I'm not sure all, my, all the class know. They probably will by now because it gets around. Because um, I've been like commenting on their videos and stuff, like the uni videos. So I don't know. But um, yeah, quick update on example three. Then I guess hope you enjoyed that little little um, opinion thing there. But uh, what we're doing at the moment, we have a Dropbox folder, if you don't know what that is, it's kind of like a, a sharing folder of the internet and we have all the files in there, all the project files, so I pretty much get to watch Mika edit, which is insane. Um, he's finished the intro, he's finished the first minute of the song, the first song, and it's just looking insane, I can't wait to get it released. I've got about 30 clips at the moment, going to record until probably the end of June and release it around July. So that's kind of the release date, so don't ask like uh, what date it is, because I haven't got a date, it's just going to be in July. So it's looking sick, hope you're going to enjoy that, uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later, bye.